Hey, this is Danny Jones. Um, I have this 10 inch mirror uh, blank that I'm working on. Um, it's, of course, you know, obviously 10 inch diameter. It's uh, right smack in the middle of between 7 8 and 1 inch thick. And um, I've got that on the turntable. And uh, I'm turning this out for a buddy of mine uh, who I'd really like to see have this mirror. And uh, this mirror, uh, to start with, um, I had on the shelf. I had. Uh, it started to grind it uh, for somebody and then they in the middle of the grinding process they decided they wanted a different diameter mirror so I really just cleaned it up put it on the shelf and then that, and there it sat and then uh, this buddy money he wanted this uh, 10 inch mirror but it was really too deep um, I like to do uh, most of my measurements in, uh, in millimeters to get really exact if I can um, of course I use the spirometer to uh, you know in, in those measurements also so uh, before I started um, the spirometer measurement was uh, 0 0.044 which was uh, equal to about 2231 millimeters <coughs> excuse me so uh, what I did is I uh, took a, uh, a, a dental plaster and, and, and tile tool I'm going to see right here and uh, that tool is about 75% of the, the diameter of the mirror. And, uh, but the tile tool was uh, set for a mirror that was uh, 0.038 instead of 035 like you see on there. So it was a, a much shorter, a little bit shorter of a radius. Uh, but that's no problem with the turntable because it has an overarm and I can adjust that um, where it grinds um, to make it shallower or deeper or however I want to do it. So. I used that uh, tool there and uh, just put it out a little bit farther on the mirror, shallowed it up, and uh, I was able, in about 40 minutes, I, I really thought it was going to take me a couple of days on the turntable, but in about 40 minutes I was able to uh, hit, the, hit, the, hit the mark that I wanted at uh, um, 2810 millimeters. And uh, what I may do is I may shallow it up just a little more, just by a few millimeters, uh, just so the the gentleman has a, a little bit of room to, to work with um, you know during uh, fine grinding and polishing so but I'll leave that up to him um, so you know after about 40 minutes I was able to get to uh, 2810 millimeters which is also equal to about uh, 0.035 on my spirometer so in in 40 minutes time I was able to shallow that up with a with a difference of 579 millimeters so the turntable is actually pretty efficient and it makes a, a really nice smooth uh, spherical surface you know just because the turntable is uh, uh, moving against uh, uh, the tool in, in a different rotation that causes the grinding so the grinding is the, is the same all over the mirror and it's automatic really so I, I was able to shallow that up in about 40 minutes or so and uh, I'm really ple pleased with those results I, I, I really wasn't uh, planning on uh, making uh, that target uh, radius you know in just uh, 40 minutes time I really thought it would take me a day or a day and a half of uh, moving in and out with it but uh, it worked out really well so this here is the is the radius that it was at before and and the 2810 is the radius it's at now which is exact and I might shallow that up a little bit and I was able to to make a difference in that radius at uh, 579 millimeters uh, very pretty quickly with this uh, fixed post uh, grinder slash polisher so I just wanted to give an update on that on, on how well that works and and uh, how I how I get those measurements and I compare those so thanks for watching